Hello. I wouldn't normally bring these 10 inch plant pots indoors, um, but it's been so windy over the last couple of weeks, um, and it's windy today, uh, that there's very little chance of shooting an half decent video at least with any sort of sound quality. So I've brought these couple of pots indoors today to show you something. Um, and I'll, I'll just show you what I've got here on these pots before I explain what's in the pots. Um, I think the expression I'm looking for is necessity is the mother of invention. I think that might be right, that might fit the circumstances. Um, and the necessity was to protect these early potatoes from the wind. Now, as you know, I, I, I don't have a greenhouse or a polytunnel. Um, and so I usually try and tuck these plant pots in close to a wall, but where I can't do that, uh, I try to um, install a little bit of protection the best I can. So uh, this is the uh, invention, if you like. That's just a piece of slate to give me some weight. And this is just a punnet um, from some fruit. Okay, and underneath that, hope you can see this, voila, the green shoots of a potato. Um, there they are. Just see it there, and if I turn it round, I think hopefully you can just see it there. Uh, but what I really want to show you here is what these potatoes are growing in. This is my seaweed and leaf compost mix. Okay, there is no soil in that pot at all, and there is no fertilizer in that pot at all. All we've got is seaweed and leaves as a mixture. Okay, um, a week or two ago when I shot my last video, we had nothing showing, but now we've got potatoes showing. So this trial is back on track. Okay, I'll just pop this back on here and move this off. Um, and I've sown two pots like this, so I'll put the second pot up and let you see how that one's doing as well. Okay, so this is the second pot. Seaweed and leaves. No soil, no compost, no fertilizer. How does that look? How does that look? Okay. So trial's back on track. Uh, I'll pop these two back outdoors. <laughs> Can't keep these indoors. I'll pop these two back outdoors. Uh, and we'll have a, another look uh, later on in the growing season. And clearly, as you can see, once this is too big and this punnet won't actually fit, then they'll just have to take the chances with the element. We'll have to have, keep our fingers crossed uh, that there isn't a late frost and they don't get any uh, wind burn. Okay, so this is homegrown veg, signing out.